Morning everyone, today is Tuesday, June 21st at 8.43 a.m. Gonna do a video watch this today. Uh, it's been a long time since I made a free video watch this, so I'm gonna post this replay on YouTube. So I'm gonna try not to give away too much information. So what I do every day, guys, is I go through the previous runners and I try to make watches. So let's start with Sidu. So SIDU, this is a previous runner. As you can see from the daily chart, it ran up from two to nine pulled back and now is bouncing. So we've kind of been in a market cycle where stocks are bouncing a little bit further than we expect. And that's totally fine, that happens, you know, it is what it is. So what we need to do is we need to account for that and we need to be able to deal with the range. So what that means is if this is trading at seven bucks, I wanna be shorting around 750 and I want to be adding around eight bucks. Now, how do I find those levels? Resistance and resistance. I like to use whole and half dollar marks. So 750, 8, 850, whatever it may be. So SIDU ideally traps some shorts on like a morning dip, pushes towards 750, and then rejects all the way back down. So I'm gonna probably be waiting for that one. ADN, similar situation to what happened on SIDU. These kind of ran together almost. It had a big move, it kind of pulled back the other day, and now it's kind of bouncing. You know, some people are saying this is buy-in, some saying it's saying T plus two, whatever the hell is, I don't really care what it is. All I know is that's a broken stock that's bouncing and I'm just gonna draw my resistance line. So again, whole and half dollar marks. Look, it ties up, it lines up, it makes sense. So 350 is what I see. I see another resistance towards this, you know, eh, I could do around 370. So let me change this. Three seventy, and then four bucks, right? So that's kind of what I'm waiting for there. HCTI, this is a potential hot chick runner. Um, looks like it's kind of pulling back right now. I mean, this is what I see. I see two potential plays, right? Either A, it's gonna break out or it's gonna break down. I don't really know what's gonna happen. It's trading some pretty decent volume so far compared to what it's traded in the past. So this has a chance of running. So if it has a chance of running, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. If it tanks, right let's draw our lines if it tanks under you know 130 sure you could short a bounce but at that point does it really even have much more you know room to go so i just set this sidu just did a stuff candle that might be okay for a small starter i don't know we'll revisit that later bksy this is another potential hot chick runner dips are being absorbed right and you know i had a previous run kind of consolidated might run again so this one for me personally is an avoid 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 because it could be a potential hot chick runner so keep that simple rev i did actually a really good job avoiding the stock from all the way here right you know i've traded the hertz bankruptcy i've traded a bunch of different bankruptcies and it's a 50-50, man. You don't know what the hell is going to happen. Maybe someone's going to swoop in and get their assets for cheap, or they're just going to go freaking bankrupt. I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. For me, these stocks are an avoid because I think there's no edge. In the stock market, if you treat it like a casino, it will act like a casino, right? It will act like a casino. I'm not in the business to gamble. I'm not in the business to guess. And if I think that there is no edge on this stock, I will not trade this stock. So I think there is no edge on this stock, so I will avoid it. And AERC every single day, you know, dips and traps, dips and traps. I don't really see much of an edge anymore on this. So keeping it really simple, guys, really, really simple is I narrowed it down to the top plays of the day for me. I am waiting for those top plays to get to my desired levels. And around 925-ish is when I adjust my plans in case, you know, things like BKSI move or things like SIDU move. But right now, this is a stuff candle. So let me set an order to short a little bit around seven bucks. Let me see if I get it. Let me turn on my trade thing here. Um, one sec. All right, let's wait here and see if we get it. I have an order at 6.99. And again, what am I doing? Am I taking 10,000 shares here? No, I'm taking fucking small shares just in case, you know, this is the top. But all right, it didn't really fill me. So we'll revisit this closer to the open. Uh, that stuff move was a great indicator for a move down. But 
yeah, I will see you guys uh, for the live video today on YouTube at 11 a.m. And if you made it till the end of this video, the secret word to comment and share is espresso. By doing that, I know that you made it to the end of the video. So hopefully this video is helpful. Hopefully you guys learned a lot and I'll see you guys back in the room.